New Year to you. Wow, I'm so excited to see you again in 2021. Yes, you made it to 2021 and I made it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are excited. We are excited to be here. Glory to God. Glory to Jesus that has made you and I to see the new year. Hallelujah. So good morning to you. I'm so excited to be in 2021. A lot of people that started last year, they were not able to come into this year. It's not because we are worthy. It's not because we are too holy or too good. But the grace and mercy of God made me a new to cross over to 2021. Glory to God. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. We are grateful, oh Lord. We are grateful, oh Lord. Hallelujah. For all you have done for us, mighty Father, we are grateful, oh Lord. So how are you starting your year? We are grateful that we are in the year 2021. So how are you starting your year? So for me, according to what the Lord laid in my heart and in my household, I have decided, we have decided that this year is a year of breaking alabaster box. Breaking the alabaster box and pouring alabaster oil on Jesus. So this year is a year of radical service unto the Lord. Radical services unto the Lord. So the year of breaking your alabaster box and pouring the alabaster oil on Jesus. This is the year. So I'm going to be reading. This Matthew 26 is my scripture for the year. A scripture for Good Morning Holy Spirit Family. For year 2021, we have two scriptures. The first one is Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 2 to 3. And then the second scripture for the year 2021 is Matthew 26, verse 1 to the end. But our emphasis scripture is from verse 7 to verse um, 13. Verse 7 to verse 13. So if you are a member of Good Morning Holy Spirit family, you can make use of this scripture for the year. No matter that we're going to read other scripture, but this is our backup. This is like our backbone scripture for the year. So let us read Matthew 26, verse 7 to 13. There came unto him a woman having an alabaster box of very precious ointment and poured it on his head. And as he sat at meat, okay? But when the disciples saw it, they had indignation, saying, to what purpose is this waste? Okay? And verse 9 says, For this ointment might have been sold for so much and given to the poor. Verse 10, When Jesus understood it, he said unto them, Why trouble ye the woman? For she had wrought a good work upon me. Verse 11, for ye have the poor always with you, but me ye have not always. Verse 12, for in that, for in that she had poured this ointment on my body, she did it for my burial. Verse 13, the last said, verily I say unto you, wheresoever this gospel shall be preached in the whole world, they shall also this, that this woman had done, be told for a memorial of her. So we are sharing the memorial of this wonderful woman that poured alabaster oil on the head of Jesus. All right, so let's go back to that scripture. 
and let us pray. Heavenly Father, we have come to share your word, the first word for the year 2021. My Lord and my God, you have told us that this is a year of radical services for you. The year of doing going extra mile for you. The year of doing something unique we've never done before. The year of breaking up the Balabasta box and pouring the oil on Jesus. Father, I pray that you will teach us your word. Father, I decrease that you will increase in me. At the end of this word, Father, you will change what you need to change in me. You need to you will change what you need to change in the life of as many that will listen to this word in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. So um just reading from that scripture, okay, we saw this woman that she had an alabaster box of precious ointment. So we know we, we have a lot of perfumes and we have those that are so expensive. And, uh, you know, when you go to perfume shop, you will see some of them that just like 100 meals is 60 pounds. They are so expensive. But this woman came with much more expensive ointment that cannot be compared to the ointment that we have in recent times. The Bible says here, she came with alabaster box of very precious ointment. So when ointment is precious, you know that it has a higher value, a highest value, okay? And what did she do? She poured it on the head of Jesus when Jesus was sitting on the table and having a meal. She poured it on the head of Jesus. Praise God. So that woman... That woman had a vision. So that's why I'm saying that our scripture for the year is Habakkuk 2, verse 2 to 3, and Matthew 6. You can see the correlation, the relationship between these two, that this woman had a vision that no other person, the disciples that were so stuck to Jesus, they did not catch that vision. But this woman, this woman, this unique woman in the Bible, Mary Magdalene, people have called her so many names. They have called her prostitute. They call her so many, many things they like to call her. But that doesn't stop her from saving God. In fact, she had a good history in the Bible. So she had a vision. She caught the vision of Jesus' death. She caught the vision that Jesus would be buried three days. She caught the vision that if nothing is done, that the body of Jesus will be rotting in the grave, will be smelling. She caught the vision of her Savior. Yes, she caught that vision. But those people that were called the inner caucus, which is the disciples, they were just following Jesus blindly. They did not have no vision. When there are a lot of people, they are following pastors. They don't even have a vision from God. They're just following men of God here and there. They don't have vision for their life. They don't know where they are going. Have you sat back to ask yourself, God, what do you want me to do for you? 2020 is gone. Now we are in a new year. Are you just going to be following men of God all over the place and don't think about yourself? Isn't There's nothing wrong with going with men of God. While you're going, you're also receiving blessing. But well, I mean, you can do better for that man of God. There is something that that man of God needs. Uh, is God, if God does not open your eyes, you will not be able to see it. Are you just going to be going the same carrying Bible and following the man of God? What if that man of God has a need? What if there are some spiritual needs that he has? Have you taken time to ask God, how can I help this pastor to grow his ministry? How can I help this church to grow his, their ministry? How can I help this person to fulfill their destiny? 
in 2021, what have you got to do to support the vision of God? There are a lot of people God has given the vision into their hands. I'm one of them. And the vision is to spread the gospel, to bring as many people as possible to the kingdom of God, to bring a lot of people to the way to heaven, to protect people, to bring people to come to know Christ. Mary Magdalene caught the vision, how she can help the man of God, which is Jesus Christ. And I pray that this 2021, God will open your eyes in that little church you're serving, in that little congregation you're serving. God will open your eyes for you to see how you can help the church to grow. How you can help the work of God to expand, to spread abroad in that little place you are serving God. Although there are some people, some pastors, some so-called men of God, they don't really like people that have vision. But if you know you are in a place that your vision is not prosperous, find some things, find somewhere else to do the work of God. There is online platform like YouTube, like um, um, Facebook, Instagram, there are a lot of them. Use it to do the work of God the way God wants you to do. If God calls you to minister his word, catch the vision. Run with it. That's what Habakkuk said. Catch the vision. When you read the vision, you have the vision, you run with it. Don't sit down in 2021 and, and just play church. You know, this morning, I, I, I was just um, praying and I have this thought thought that preaching the word of God to people who are saved, people who are already saved, they've given their life to Christ, they are saved. They got their salvation, they are saved. But you're preaching the word of God every day to these same people who are able to go out there to have a soul for Christ. But they are still sitting down and you're preaching the word of God to one person. It's a waste of resources. It is a waste of resources. Because that word of God you are preaching to people that are already saved. You preach it to people who are who don't know Christ, who are out there dying in sin. Then they will give their life to Christ. So this year is a year for us to do radical service to the Lord. It's a year for us to stand up and do something unique to serve God. It's a year for us to stop preaching to the same people. It's a year for us to look for every medium to share the word of God, to depopulate the kingdom of darkness and bring the kingdom of God to people in their houses. Let people get to know Jesus while watching YouTube, while watching Facebook. Let Jesus be painted and on every social media. Let people give their life to Christ and, be, and start to prepare themselves for rapture. That woman caught the vision. And when she break the alabaster box and pour the oil on Jesus, what the disciple says, said, the disciple said, but when his, his disciples saw it, they had indignation. Then they were so angry. And hear what they say. To what purpose is this waste? So when that woman do a radical service, pouring oil, on the head of Lord Jesus Christ, his disciple who were blind in the spirit, were blaming her. To what use is this waste? Why do you waste this expensive oil on Jesus Christ? You could have used it to, to sell it to make money. In this 2021, are you just going to be concerned of making money for yourself? I just gonna I you just gonna sit down and be concerned on, on accumulating wealth for yourself? Are you only going to be focusing on how to keep making money and making wealth for yourself? There's nothing wrong in being rich. But the Bible says that it is very easy for a rich man, right, for a camel to pass through the eyes of a needle than for a rich man to make the kingdom of God. While you are planning on how to make your money, while you are planning on how to build houses, make money, grow your business, please put God in your plan. Put God in your plan. 
is not only about making profit for yourself. Make profit for your soul. Make profit for your spirit. The Bible says it's appointed unto a man who wants to die after that judgment. When you die, your millions of pounds, your millions of dollars will not save your soul. All the wealth and riches and hot currency you are accumulating for yourself finish here on earth. But the Bible says that we should, where our treasure lies, we, that is where our heart is. If your treasure lies on the things you are making, on the wealth you are accumulating, your soul lives in the earth. But you have to lay your treasure in heaven, where moth, right, cannot destroy. So in 2021, are you just going to be sitting down, go over to your business again, start all over? There's nothing wrong with that. We pray for God to prosper businesses, God to prosper everything we do. We pray for God to prosper it. But what I'm saying to you now is that put God in your plan. Put God in your plan. Put God in that business and God will prosper it. Remember, we have the poor on the streets. It says here, verse 9 says, For this ointment might have been sold for so much and given to the poor. That's what um, um, and the disciples said. Verse 10, Jesus said, when Jesus, un uh, when Jesus understood it, he said unto them, Why trouble ye the woman? For she had wrought a good work upon me. So this is a year of good work. It's not a year to sit down in your church and be competing with yourselves. It's not a year of sitting down in the church and be copying people. Oh, this one wear this, you wear it. This one make hairstyle like this, you make this hairstyle. This one wear your shoe, you wear it. It's not that is childish behavior. It's not a time to be going on on social media and be looking at what people are doing and you replicate the same thing. It's a time for you to look at a unique thing that you have to do. You also have to be a role model for other people. It's, it's, it's not, in 2021, you cannot be just copying people. Come out yourself. Be yourself. Don't pretend. It's a time for you to come out and be yourself and save God. Look at where can I save God? Do I just come in the church and sit down every, every day and listen to the word? That is not enough. There are a lot of poor people on the streets. There are a lot of sinners on the streets. They are dying. But every human being, no matter how poor they are, they have a mobile phone. They have, they have letter boxes in their, in their homes, like in this country. Drop the word of God through people's post box. Look for a way that you can inculcate the word of God in everything you do. Preach the word of God. The Bible says we should preach the word of God in season and out of season. Don't waste this year again. Stand up and find the way to serve God in a unique way. Do something that will pain you. Give something that will pain you. Do something to people that will not be able to reward you. People that will not even be able to reward you. Those are the people that you should be giving things to. You know, I stopped doing that. You go and be giving something to someone that can give, give, it, give, you, give it back to you. Give something to someone that may not even have to give it back to you. Give it to them. Change people's life. Listen in the spirit. What is God telling me? Who do I help today? Don't serve God blindly. Save God with your eyes open. See the needy people on the street, in their homes, in their houses, in your neighborhood. People are there. They are dying of hunger. They can't come to speak to you. Only the Spirit of God will show to you. That woman did something unique. And then Jesus said, For ye have the poor always with you, but ye but for me, ye not have always. We have the poor always with us. We should sort, we should be able to do something for the poor this year. Look for a way for you to do something for the poor. All those poor people that are all over the place begging for arms. 
do something that you can be able to touch the life of a poor person. And for you sitting down, you have your hands, you have your legs, you have your eyes, everything God has given to you, you have it. Make use of them. And this year is not a year to beg anybody for anything. Invest. Invent. Innovate. Do something different. So that God can take the glory. Praise God. So Jesus understood that we, you have this woman, or we have the poor people all the time. But Jesus Christ, we don't have him all the time because he will leave. And Jesus Christ definitely left. But one thing I have to say is that that same Jesus that left is coming back again. And when he comes back this time, he's coming for rewarding people. To reward you for all the good you have done. So, what are you waiting for? We will all be shining like the Christmas light blinking there when we get to heaven. How many souls have you brought to Christ? How many souls have you brought to Christ last year? We should be competing on winning souls, not competing with ourselves. We should be competing on sharing the gospel, bringing souls to the kingdom of God, not competing with ourselves. That this one has bought a car, you will do everything to buy the same car. This one has bought a house, you do everything to buy the same the same house. This one has bought this a dress, you do everything to buy the same dress. All those things are perishable things. They perish here on earth. They will not take us to heaven. But what will take us to heaven is us doing the will of God, which is go and preach the gospel. Preach the gospel starting from your Samaria to Judea to the uttermost part of the world. Use the social media. The time you are online, let it benefit somebody spiritually and also physically. Praise God. So Jesus Christ is coming again. We have no time left. If you are hearing me, you have not given your life to Christ. Give your life to Jesus Christ today. Because Jesus is coming again. And when he comes back, he has nothing to do with sinners. He's coming for the righteous. This year, have you, are you ready for the rapture? If he comes, Jesus comes today, are you going to make it to heaven? You have to ask yourself that question. You have to answer it yourself. For in that she poured this ointment on my body, she did it for my burial. She caught a vision. Verse 13. Verily I say unto you, where, wheresoever is this gospel shall be preached in the whole world, they shall also this, that this woman had done, be told for a memorial of her. Whatever this woman has done, Jesus said, it should be told in memorial of her. I've just told you about the alabaster oil this woman poured on Jesus. It was an expensive oil that nobody may want to waste. The disciples saw it as being a waste, but that woman saw it as sowing a seed. This year, are you going to sow radical seed in the life of somebody? Are you going to sow radical seed in the life of your church? Are you going to sow radical seed in the life of men of God? Are you going to sow radical seed in that orphan? Are you going to sow radical seed in that widow? Are you going to sow radical seed in that um, people that you don't even know? That is what the question is for this year. Have a, have a vision. Your vision should include God in your vision. Include God in whatever you're planning to do. Whatever you're planning to do in 2021, always include God. Say your prayers and always preach the word of God. Include God in everything you do. Have a budget for God. Pay your tithe. Don't look at whatever they're using the tithe for. It's none of your business. You live in obedience. You pay your tithe. You pay your offering. Don't sit down in one place doing the work of God, preaching to the same people, go out there and preach the word of God to everybody so that the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ will reach the world so that Jesus will come back because the word of God doesn't go prosper in all the world. Jesus will not return. So that is a message this year for, for 2021. It's a year of radical services. Praise God like you have never praised him before. Thank God as you have never thanked him before. 
Dance for God as though you have not danced before. Evangelize for God as you have not done it before. Give to God as you have never given before. Increase your offering as you have never done before. Increase your tithes as you have never done before. Increase your time for God as you have never done before. And God bless you. Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. Father, we pray. As you thank, we thank you for bringing us into 2021. Lord, we pray, King of glory, that we should put you first in everything we do. You give us the vision, oh Lord, on what we are going to do and how we are going to do it. And Father, help us in 2021. Let us serve you the more. Let us do things that we have not done before for you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Please subscribe to this channel. If you are there listening to me and you watch me, if you bring me one soul to this channel, I'll pay you five pounds. Seriously, bring people into this channel and then you'll be blessed. As you, many people, as you bring in here, you let me know. If you bring someone to sign on to this channel, I pay you five pounds. The more people you bring, just notify me and I will pay you. People must hear the word of God. People must hear the word of God. Bring people to this channel and you'll be blessed. I will say it's still in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Subscribe. Thank you. God bless you. And don't forget to press the notification button. Thank you. Not sure what I've done.